everybody and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. I'm procrastinating on the ladder again. Uh, I will get to it. I'm just being lazy when it comes to the ladder. Uh, I'm looking at other things instead. And um, today I'm going to be looking at uh, something you find in sort of games like Call of Duty and Mirror's Edge, which is uh, a sliding uh, uh, mechanic. So... Um, the first thing we want to do is, uh, now I've got my third person character and my Manny BP in at the moment. Come onto your capsule component and uh, come down to where it says hidden in game um, and make sure, where is it? There it is. Make sure it's uh, ticked off because we want to be able to see it for this functionality just to sort of test it. So make sure that is uh, is turned off the hidden game function. Next in your many BP now where we had uh, we used to have like a default slot in there, we're gonna re put that back in. Now this won't affect any of our other um, sort of animation blends. It's just purely to uh, ensure we can still use anim montages uh, without affecting the bottom and the top uh, separately. We want these animation blueprints to work as a whole. So, uh, now that we've set that up, let's go into our third person blueprint. Let's find some space. And I want to get the V key for this. Now, I probably will change this. I mean, I don't necessarily think I want it in the, the Haven project anyway. But it's more, I'm just setting up for you guys so in case you want it. And also in case I change my mind a bit down the line. Um, but uh, what I was going, what my point was, is that I was potentially going to add in a hold down the C button, so the crouch button when sprinting, and you slide. Um, or if you're on a gamepad, you hold down the crouch button. If it's like the right face button, you hold it down as you're sprinting, and you'll do a cool little slide. Um, but before I can do any of that, let's actually get the functionality set up. Before we carry on, I just want to say I got this um, animation from Mixamo. However, when I pulled it through, it was broken. It didn't work quite correctly. Um, I couldn't figure out how to fix it, but I'd done, I had fixed it in a previ previous project I was working on. Uh, so I decided to just extract it from that project and put it straight into here. Um, if you want it, Join the Discord, let me know in the Discord, and I'll make sure there's like a somewhere you can download it from in the Discord. Um, but if you want it, let me know in the Discord, and I will, um, I'll, I'll make sure there's like a link in there somewhere to, to download it. Um, so, we want a couple of branches first, just to check a couple of things. Now, one of those things is we want to make sure we are sprinting. So plug that in there. Secondly, now I created a new variable called is sliding. We want to make sure that's false. We want to make sure we're not already sliding. Now you probably want to add a few other things in there, probably like jumping. You want to make sure you're not jumping. You probably also want to make sure you're not crouching. Um, so you probably want to add a few other things in here in this just to block it off. But for now, I just want to make sure I am sliding and then I want to make sure I'm not already sliding. Wait, I said that wrong. I want to make sure uh, I am sprinting and I'm not sliding. No, that was that sounds a lot better. <laughs> so bring bring out the um, the is sliding, plug it in, and just set this to true, so that now the game knows we're sliding, and then we can use that boolean then to stop us from doing other things like pressing other buttons and doing other things we don't want to do. Like if we're sliding, we don't want to be able to jump, so we want to put that in the jump that we can, you know, that it is not we're not sliding and things like that. But we can do all that. That's all teething things we can do later on. We want to get our capsule component and pull out and say set capsule half height. And our half height is 48 of our capsule. And then plug that in. That's why I said to set this to from from turn off the hiding capsule so we can see what's going on when we're in in game and it'll give you an idea of how the how it works basically we then want to get our mesh and we want to get our world location uh, and from there we want to add now the ue4 
um, the UE4 mesh required it to be about 50, uh, but I think for the Quinn it needs to be about 40. I think 40 works just a little bit better. Uh, and then we want to um, set our world location, like so. Pull off from the mesh and just chuck that into there, otherwise you will get an error. And then just plug that straight into there and that should work fine. Um, the next thing we want to do is play our animation. Now this is where the default slot comes in. Um, so if we go back to our content drawer, oh, I always do that. Every episode I do that. Go to the content drawer, right click as always, create uh, an anim montage. And then we'll have this. And we don't need to do anything else with this because it automatically sets to default slot. So all we need to do now is um, get our, we can probably get our, get player character and um, play animation montage. Like so. Set this, oh, set this to um, our sliding down animation. And the beautiful thing about animation montage is we can stick a delay in that runs exactly the same course of our animation montage and um, it will run this whole thing using this delay before it will do everything else basically. We want to basically recopy all of this now. Uh, oh. Oh, I, well, I got my half. Okay, I got my capsule component. I don't know. I don't know why the rest didn't come through, but okay. Uh, and reset this to ninety six. So double of what we set the half to. Um, let's retry and copy this world. Copy. There we go. That's better. Pull that through and plug that in. And then all we need to do now is delete this and change it to a minus. Uh, and set the same value, exactly the same, but it's just doing the opposite by minusing it now from the world location, like so. Uh, and then all we need to do is just set our sliding uh, variable back to false. So just to go through it one more time, compile, we're gonna check to see, make sure we are sprinting and we're not sliding, then we're gonna set our sliding to true, set our capsule collision to half the size. Then we're gonna set the uh, world location of our mesh down because obviously it would stay in that same location and just slide up in the air. We're then gonna play that sliding animation uh, and then we're gonna, once that's finished, set our capsule component back to 96 and set our character back to its original positioning and then set the slide to, zero, to false. So as long as everything's Correct, with the default slot being in there, um, we should be good to go. Let's um, go and check our bit here. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that's why. Don't do what I did, make sure it's not, it's false. It's gotta be false, <laughs> oh my God. I am a guru, I swear, BP, BP guru, I swear. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Uh, we all make mistakes. There we go. It's working perfectly. And they get up and then we can run again. Slide. Do that. Now, we want to make sure that when sliding activates, we probably want to set sprinting to false and uh, have it just take a chunk of um, stamina. But that's completely up to you. You might just want it to... I mean, if you let go of V, it stops obviously taking the stamina and re starts regenerating it, but we probably want that to not happen. But it's up to you and how you want to um, set this up. So you can see the perfect, perfectly here. I can't walk under it, but if I uh, do the slide, I can slide under. Uh, also, you probably want to do the same thing with the capsule component with your crouch, because obviously if you look here and you press forward, you can't walk, you actually can't crouch under it. That's because your capsule component is still too big. But again, just follow the same steps of setting your capsule component when you're crouching. And when you uncrouch, reset it back to 96 and it'll work fine. <coughs> As for this white thing here, it's just a cube that I've, um, I've literally dragged in and just deformed to make that shape. Um, but yeah, thanks so much guys for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. Um, 
a little bit of a fun one really just setting up a little slide you can use in game you could probably do the same thing as well with um diving if you could find a decent diving animation you could do exactly the same steps but have them dive like they do in i think they're doing it in the new modern warfare 2 you can dive and it would work exactly the same but you just need that diving animation and sadly there wasn't any on mixamo otherwise i would have added that in too but um thanks so much guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed this uh leave a little comment with anything you want to see next uh, and obviously don't forget to like and uh, if you've enjoyed yourself hit that subscribe button It really helps me out and you can also change your mind online. But thanks so much guys. Take care. Bye. Bye